Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how you can create your own edit detail screen in Visual Studio Light Switch. Light Switch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. Light Switch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich Internet Silverlight applications. This lesson picks up where we left off in the last video, where we created a search screen for our customers and enabled editing and adding records. Right now, the edit detail screens are generated for us by Light Switch. In this video, I'll show you how you can create your own custom edit screen and have Light Switch use that when editing records instead. So let's go ahead and run the application real quick and show you where we are. Okay, so here's our search screen. Notice that when I click uh, the link on the last name, I get a detail screen by default. But I can't edit the layout and click this Design Screen button because I haven't defined my own edit screen. Light Switch just generated this one based on my customer entity. So let's see how we can add our own detail screen. Okay, so I'm just going to right click on the Screens node and select Add Screen. And this time I'm going to select Detail Screen. And for the screen data, we want our customer. Now, notice that Light Switch has automatically checked Use This as the default detail screen. So anytime we select a customer link and want to edit a customer, this screen will be used. I'm just going to select the customer details in this case for now. Click OK. Now in the screen designer, we can set, see that we're set up with a few things here. We've got a default layout here. It's just uh, the rows layout. But we've also got a, a query parameter here called ID. Okay, so this is actually the customer ID. And what this does is the detail screens are past the ID of the record that we want to edit. And so what you're looking at here in the properties window is that the ID is a parameter and here we go. The ID is a parameter and it's bound to this customer ID which is a parameter of the screen. Okay, there's the check mark is parameter of the screen. So this is the screen parameter that is at runtime past the ID of the customer you want. And then this, this ID is used as the query parameter that then goes and finds the data inside of our database. Okay, so we'll dig deeper into creating queries in a future video. But all you need to know is that, this, that Light Switch has set this all up for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit F5 to start our debugging up again run the application. So now when we go ahead and click on a customer, you'll notice that the design screen is, button is now enabled and this is um, the default edit screen that we just created. So I'm going to make a couple layout changes to this now. So let's go ahead and click that design screen button. And what I want to do is I want to add the address information a little bit more, a little bit better layout here so that um, the city, state, and postal code are actually on one line. So I'm going to remove these individual lines here um, by just selecting the control and hitting the delete key, or you can use this delete button up here at the top. And then I'm going to add a new group. Okay, and I'm going to change that by default it just picks the first thing was the rows layout as the default, but you can change this to an address editor. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and select the line one, address line two, the city, state, and postal code. Okay, and I'm going to make a couple other layout changes here. Instead of naming this group, I'm going to name this shipping address. Oops, <laughs> I spelled it wrong. Okay, and then for the address one, I'm going to um, remove the label position. I'm just going to make none because it's fairly intuitive now that I have shipping address label there. I'm also going to remove it on the address line two. And for right over address line one, let's go ahead and um, fill in a description. Let's call this enter. This will be like a tooltip when the user hovers over it. Enter the customer address where or there's should be ship. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, save that. Okay, and so now we can see our changes, shipping address, and when we hover over the first line, we can see our tooltip. 
Okay, so that's how you can specify your own detail edit screens for your data entities in Visual Studio Lite Switch. Thanks for watching.